I am here with uh, Coach Ryan Salem of Lincoln Southwest Silver Hawks. The girls are just finishing up end of their workout. Thank you very much for uh, taking time and doing this. Sure, sure. Happy to do it. Excellent. How do you think um, the summer went, this workout went, just yeah. kind of how the season's going to lay out for you guys, both girls and guys? Well, I think we had a really good summer and you know our numbers have been really big this year. We're up quite a few kids and we could see that in the summer and I don't know if it was the clinic where it clicked. I don't know if it's some of our Scott Middle School uh, coaches that we have now that are in kind of the network is kind of together now between our feeder middle school and our high school. Um, but we had really big numbers at clinic and then you know the credit to our kids is they trained all summer. I mean we had if I look at the top 25 we only had two or three kids where we thought you know that kids a few miles short they might have had a little bit more sleeping in mornings and coming to the flagpole where we meet um, some of our clinic speakers were exceptional <laughs> um, but uh, that must have done it yeah yeah, yeah. Um, when Nebraska Elite was at the was the speaker that was probably it but um, so that I mean that has translated I think I should have I didn't see us having over 120 runners this summer but we do now and um, this you know this week is pretty typical we have, have essentially what I would consider two and a half workouts we had a significant workout on Tuesday that we cut short because the heat was so bad which is typical for this time of year and then because we have a time trial just it's it's not physiologically it's not my favorite thing but it's just it's a necessary beast um, the kids want to know where they stand we need to be able to evaluate varsity and JV for our first meet next week so that will probably be our hundred percent effort day is the, the um, time trial and this, today was kind of a you know 60% effort a little bit harder than running on the bike trail we did some two minute on three minute off um, only for 5k which is not terribly far for a fit high school runner totally on grass which we like a lot because we just want we got a lot of young bodies we don't need the impact but we're kind of concrete locked on Pine Lake Road and so um, I thought it went good the hill workout is really an activation workout for us it's a chance to get that turnover going you know as we shift phases through the season uh, this faster workout with a faster finish like a hill repeat with a stride out segment will become a primary workout and the tempo stuff we were doing um, on Tuesday will become like a secondary workout so depends on what time of year we are but I'm super happy with today we also lucked out with the weather some of the other coaches that were here having time trials were super accommodating you know um, coach Boyle is a total legend and and for him to let us come out here with a huge team and not be in his way even though I'm sure he was thinking oh here comes here we go uh, that's just a credit to how what a great guy he is and particularly proud of you know our top boys like Mason Lumiere and uh, Luke Nolly and Brandon Crom and um, a couple newcomers in that group we have two freshmen that broke the top five last week at our at our really informal time trial at Holmes Lake of all places so we try to keep the pressure really off that first week but we run something that we measure and it's not very often that freshman boys can make the top five and we had two so those guys Tyler and Jack are doing a great job um, but I think of the meat of our boys team is really going to be that kind of like six through ten like we were talking about earlier they all think they should be top five runners for us and it's not they're not wrong um, at other schools they'd be top three and well at the right school I mean there's some some big dog schools that we have to run with especially here in Lincoln there's some really good programs but some of these places if they went to school they'd be some of the best runners in the building and so to have that kind of chomping at the bit from your 10th runner makes your 7th runner not sleep very well and that makes your 5th runner feel a bullseye but they all work together and they're friends and nobody's getting pushed down the stairs and it's a really fun group of kids to work with and um, the varsity girls are going to be massively improved you know we had a total rebuilding year last year I think in our top 10 we had 8 new runners now they, all, they weren't all freshmen but some were swimmers, some were soccer players, some moved into the district and never ran before because in the school they were in in Minnesota they had you know, soccer during cross country but now they had you know, soccer during track. And it was really fun. Oh, some converted track runners, Katie Hastings for example was a, a superstar for us but she was an 800 runner and ran you know, crazy fast at state track meet but now wants to give cross country a crack for the second year and she's gonna be a powerhouse for us. And we returned some, some really traditional distance runners for us, Alex Schwartz, state track meet, state cross country meet last year is our leader um, she's a fantastic runner and a, a really vocal part of our leadership team and you know we got some new faces too we've got a uh, Daniel Wren has come in from outside of the state and she's a very talented person and is probably excelling the most in the important stuff making friendships 
um, doing it right in the classroom, and it just turns out that it looks like she's a pretty fast runner. And um, that's been really fun to welcome people into the way that we do it at Southwest. I think the thing that makes me excited about practice is, you know, half of my team I would would could be the babysitters for my own children. They're really good young people, and they do it the way we talk about it. They set a goal, they work hard, they practice being a good teammate. They don't just give it lip service when I'm standing there. We practice being a good teammate. Uh, who else has a Spanish quiz? Can you help them study? Who needs a ride to the park? Um, what's going on on Friday night? Did you call the rest of your squad? Those things are just, you know, it's really what makes being the head coach at Southwest you know, so much fun is the culture's there. Um, I'm not gonna say that we didn't put a lot of energy into that, but we're finally starting 15 years in, uh, which will remind you that the beard is not blonde, it's white. Um, 15 years in, it's it's starting to build on itself, and, and that's really rewarding and makes me thankful for the coaches that we've had before us, like Dr. Larson and, and Ryan Mahoney and other people who have worked with us, and now we have former runners coming back to coach. I mean, Parker Shane is our varsity assistant. He's a former state champ. He knows the culture because he came up with us. And so it should be a really fun year. I'm super excited. I don't know if that means city championship. I don't know if it means both teams at state. I sure hope it does. But um, at the end of the day, that's not the only way to evaluate your program. Um, but those things would be fun too. So I appreciate the time. Thank you. I Thank appreciate you. you taking the time and yeah. really enjoyed seeing your kids work out. It was awesome. Yeah. Okay. I hope you got my good side. Thank yeah. you very much um, for taking time after your workout. I know you're tired. It's hot. You want to get... <laughs> out of the sun, so thank you very much. I'm here with Lincoln Southwest Cross Country Runners. Um, just kind of state who you are and how, how do you think the workout went today? Okay, um, my name's Alex Schwartz, I'm a junior, and the workout went really well. We did two minutes on at 5K race pace and then three minutes just regular run pace, and it was good to run fast, it wasn't too hard. Nice. Uh, my name is Brandon Crom. I'm a senior. Uh, I think speaking for most of the boys team, the workout, we did the same as them. It went really well. It was probably one of our better workouts of the season. All right, uh, my name is Luke, Luke Nolly. I'm a uh, junior this year, and uh, the workout went pretty well. I mean, it was tough, but we got through it, and it was one of the better workouts, like he said, this year. So. Yeah. Nice, nice. Now, I know um, my wife and I presented at you guys' clinic, and there was... It seemed like almost 200 people there. It's probably close to 100, but it seemed like 200. Um, did that kind of continue throughout the summer of just having a really good turnout? We know some people are gone here and there for um, summer vacations, but yeah. uh, we pretty much had the same numbers like, the whole summer. We had a good group of girls who ran every day, and a good group of guys too, and they got lots of mileage in. Yeah, we were really good about uh, getting all of our miles in, and we had a lot of people that showed up that didn't show up the past few years. And I think we had about 121 people out this year. Yeah. Wow. I think our numbers actually increased from our actually, yeah. summer to yeah. our regular season. Yeah. Yeah. That was exciting to see. Yeah, yeah. that's a lot, 121. Um, what's kind of the expectations, whether individually or team-wise, as you kind of go forth? Okay, well, last year was a building year for us. So we have lots of girls coming back this year. And so we hope to be one of the top teams in the city and qualify for the first state since we missed state last year. So hopefully we'll have a good season. <laughs> and I know for the boys team, we did pretty decent what? last year. My name. We met our goals for last year and this year we bumped our goals up a little bit higher to do better at state. And we lost a couple of seniors, but we replaced them with a few really good freshmen. Yeah, I, just the same thing. We we, we were s not satisfied with last year. We did accomplish our goals, and we were ready to bump up the expectations for this year and improve on our efforts last year. So, yeah. Nice. Um, as I was kind of riding around and, and taping you guys, I just noticed the interactions. Um, all of you seem like best friends. What are what are things that you do outside of running together that may may build that clo closeness and bond? Well. Our both guys and girls teams are like best friends with each other, so we hang out together, we do bonfires, we have we go study together and watch movies and stuff together. So it's not like separate teams, it's it's together. The yeah. Olympics this year was a big yeah, thing for us. Good. We got together multiple times <laughs> yeah. to watch track. <laughs> yeah. And we get lots of freshmen to come and mm -hmm. hang out with us. We're getting pretty close. <laughs> oh yeah. That's cool. 
Well, good luck this season. Thank you so much for taking this, taking the time. Um, and I can't wait to see you at some of the meets and then definitely see you at state. All right, yeah, thanks. Yeah.